you have sure sports. You know me there, yeah. I'm coach to coach representing. I mean, I said this is right, just representing for Omar. You don't know, come get the sports over here from near and far. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Me say, I am sure sports, one thing me sure about. When me say sure, that me, me not doubt. Come get your sports, get it over here. Come subscribe, repost and share. I am sure sports, one thing me sure about. When me say sure, that me, me not doubt. Come get your sports, get it over here. Come subscribe, repost and share. Yeah, share. If me not sure, that me, me not say it. No who score, that me, me not say it. Never know the game play, that me, me not say it. If me never seen a game, me not know who play. For your sports news, better come over your son. For your soccer news, then come over your son. If you don't love sports, still come over your for the day, don't you want to love over your son? So, so, when it comes on to behavior concerning football, Jamaica is, is decent. I am sure that if we can get all of these things done, set in place by the end of April, it gives us enough time before the World Cup campaign. Not afraid of no Brazil or no Argentina with these crap of players. We are good enough. Remember to like, subscribe, 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 share. Listen, comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. Tricknick Jerk Marinade gives your meats and vegetables authentic Jamaican jerk flavor. The spices are directly from Jamaica. Spices like jerk seasoning, allspice, scotch bonnet pepper, fresh scallions, thyme, ginger, and garlic. The key ingredients to a great jerk marinade. 0% sugar and low in sodium. You want to try it? Made up of 18 Jamaican herbs and spices. Add delicious, bold flavor to your next grilling experience. Flavoring sauce, a marinade, basting, condiment, or topping. Trick Nick Jerk Barbecue Sauce. All right, all right, all right. Good afternoon. Welcome to I Am Sure Sports. I am Manning's man. Yes, and I hope you're having a fantastic start to your morning. Today is going to be a very, very, very special show just because of the level of engagement we're going to have and the kind of discussion I will be leading with you, the faithful, faith, faithful subscribers, the faithful, faithful um, viewers, and the faithful, faithful ones who continue to participate and engage on this platform, I am sure, sports. All right, again, I am Manningsman, and if this is your first time, uh, we're glad to have you, and we ask you to subscribe to the platform so you can become a part of the family. All right, you can also hit the like button, share the content with someone to let them know that we are live and we are on air, and so they can join in these, uh, this caution. All right, we also have a way that you can become a member of the platform. So go ahead and check out our membership. It is right there, um, right on your screen. Not hard to find, not hard to do. And if you need help, we have persons who moderate on the channel who would be most grateful to help you. All right, um, so that is it. Big up to the sponsors of this video. The sponsors are Prestige uh, Finance Lending a Helping Hand when you need it most so big up to prestige finance and also to trick nick over there in canada thank them for their continued support um of the i am sure sports platform and uh, our network all right we have a lot of new things that we have in store for you so stay tuned stay tuned and look out for them as the we, we get into the month of may all right uh, as usual, we always want to give thanks to the Most High God um, for giving us life, for keeping us. We, we don't take it for granted that we are living and we have our beings. We are always grateful for life and we, we, we don't see it as a trivial matter to give thanks to the Most High God for creating us and making us. And at the end of the day, every man has a maker and the whole purpose of that maker, that creator, designing you so wonderfully and fearfully is so that you and I in turn would give him praise. And so I choose to serve him um, 
with all my imperfections and with all my flaws. He ever works in me and through me. I also want to take time out to say that this land, Jamaica, um, though we have many difficulties and trials, though we have many obstacles before us, uh, there is greatness in, 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 in so many different areas of our nation. And if we could take time to tap into the vast greatness and the vast resources we have in terms of our intellectual capital, um, which is the most, most important thing. I believe that the wealth that we will be able to access as a nation would, 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 would so satisfy us. I, I also want to encourage our leaders or, or persons in government to really take some time and figure out what we can do to stem um, crime. I know that we have been reporting that there have been uh, decreases in terms of the amount of murders and shootings and all of those things, but we can do way better than we are presently doing. And I, I personally believe that if we get that, if we get that under control, then we will begin to see greater expansion and greater growth in just so many um, different areas of this beautiful, beautiful country, Jamaica. I also want you to know that there are some um, there are some big things in store for Jamaica in terms of merchandise from Adidas. I hear, I mean, what I've been hearing through the grapevine is that there are big, 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 big plans in terms of access to merchandise, especially for those who live on the island coming June. And I know that Adidas, I'm hearing that Adidas has some big, big plans for what they will do on the, on the rock in Jamaica while they meet the, the, the needs of the global and international market. So listen, it, I hear that it's going to be fantastic, more than you would have bargained for. So look out for that, right? It is coming, people. It is coming. It is not too far away. Yes, indeed. Robert Brackett recently celebrated his birthday. Um, big up yourself, Sir Brackett. You understand me? Hope you had a blessed, 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 blessed birthday and that you live to see many, 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 many more. All right. Is that it? What else we have to go through? All right. We ready? People, you're ready. All right. So um, at the 30 minutes break, we invite you to call in and let your voices be heard. Before that, it 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 is my monologue and um, I may ignore your call. But at that point, we will take your calls and listen to your comments. And um, just know that when you call, everyone will not agree with your opinion because that's what it is. It is just an opinion. And um, you don't need agreement for your opinion, whether it is right or it is wrong. Do you hear me now? All right. So just know that and bear that in mind. All right. Yes, indeed. All right. So you see the topics that we're going to be discussing. Um, let's fix it now. We're going to talk about um, just some of the stuff that I was uh, uh, speaking to yesterday. Then what's going on with the U20s? We haven't been hearing much about that. Um, the U17s are coming up in August. What is those preparation? I know that there's a camp coming up out there in Florida. Go see if we can get um, Coach Butler to kind of come and tell us how important this is in terms of probably we can get the one and only Mr. Clip, 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 Clip Minister, <laughs> Kerry. Um, and then I also understand that there are some uh, representatives from FIFA here who are evaluating the role, the role and the functioning of the recently established Jamaica um, Jamaica Football Federation um, National Academy. I think they have like 40 youngsters up there at present um, in high preparation. Um, kind of strange because though it's a national academy, um, from the information that I have received, that all the kids up there, of the 40 kids that are there, um, they, they are only, um, they only represent two of the 14 parishes Right? Um, yeah. Right? 
they are, they are like 14 parishes and of the 14 parishes only two parishes are represented in the four in the 40 kids and so i know that they are making additional push to get other kids from other parishes and i'm saying again that all i will say is like we need we need to make sure that these things are properly coordinated because it it while the intentions may not be negative it oftentimes comes across as if there is a complete ignoring of those persons who live outside of Kingston and St. Andrew. And I would say stretch to St. Catherine. And there's talent all across Jamaica. All I'm saying is that while, while it is not intentional, it can be perceived that way by people who live outside of Kingston and St. Andrew. We, however, understand that because of the 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 the, the density in terms of pop, the population density and volume of Kingston, then you will always probably find more talent in Kingston and St. Catherine because they are bigger and have more people. All right. And so here is here is the issue with that. So when you do when when you do that, you can be so clouded in terms of what you're seeing in Kingston and St. Andrew and St. Catherine that you forget that there's talent in Hanover and there's talent in, in Westmoreland and in St. Elizabeth and there's talent in Trelawney and there's talent in St. Mary and talent in Portland and talent in St. Thomas. In fact, I believe that St. Thomas has a, a, a um, and Portland, they have youth football going on non-stop, you know. So that is showing that there is talent available and accessible in those places, and we need to do ho a whole lot better. And every time leader, and I'm going to call out leader on this one, right? Because every time he comes and we begin to talk to him, he says that he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not, and he's not responsible for that. I, I believe that regardless of the parish that one is responsible for, it is important that we seek to engage talent from every single place that the talent is available, the talent is hidden, or the, yeah, every place, every single place, the talent must be tapped into. And whether it is your personal responsibility or not, it to me, it is imperative that you go and find them. All right, Manchester, everywhere, Clarendon. So it cannot be that we have 40 kids and they, they are just representing two parishes. Good initiative, the right in initiative, the right thing to do, but we also have to do the right thing the right way for it to have maximum impact, all right? Very critical that that happens. So... Um, like I said, there is a is, there, there's a mad rush to get kids from the other parishes, which could be problematic because there, there's a lot of kids now who could be available, who have exams, uh, right? Are they just going back to school? How does it work? And this is the thing when you have the academy located in Kingston and St. Andrew to get the youth from Westmoreland to be there. Do, does his parents take him out of school? How does those things work? It 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 is... It is, it is a problem that we need to look at collectively and fix because th this is not like holidays. This is during school. So when a youth in at, at, let's call out some school name, JC, can take 10 minutes to get to the Captain Horace Borough Center of Excellence and a, a youth who goes to Mona can get there or he goes to St. George's can get there for a youth in Westmoreland. Um, and I'm not talking like in a central place like Sav. I'm talking on the outskirts, the outskirts of Hanover, the outskirts of St. Mary, or when he is in like Claremont, St. Anne. Or you understand me? Uh, when they are in the, the deep rural areas of Clarendon and Manchester, how do these youngsters have access to the, the academy on a daily basis? You see why we need to expand this, this whole academy thing. And while Captain Horace Borough Center is, is, is the ideal place, what we need to do is have other locations that other coaches, for example, maybe there should be some partnership with Mount Pleasant, right? Where this is concerned, where some of the, uh, the academy activities of the Jamaica Football Federation takes place at the Mount 
pleasant academy facilities. Maybe they're right. So the people from St. Anne, from St. Mary, from Trelawney, and even St. James, those four parishes can con four, four parishes can converge there. Maybe there needs to be a similar one somewhere between either the Landala Cultural Center or the new stuff that they are doing by Rossi's in Hanover, or they can do it at St. Elizabeth Technical or Monroe College. Something is set up there where people know from uh, uh, Westmoreland and, and St. Elizabeth, they meet in those facilities and whatever is being done in Kingston is done there. And this is just a, a, a temporary uh, fix until we can have, like I said, the kind of thing that is at Captain Horace Burrell spread across all 14 parishes. We have, to, we have to do that because what is going to happen is that a vast amount of the talent will not be identified at this young, young age, R right? It's critical. And I think with a little bit more thinking, a little bit more planning, we, we, can, we, we, can, we can do this. But if we are myopic, we, if we are short-sighted, if all we can see is this, because it is the Captain Horace Borrell Center, because here's what, too many of us, uh, 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 what we see is problems and we don't see solution, right? And if you begin to be solution focused, it's not that problems don't exist. That you, but what happened is that as you create more solutions, you begin to see less problems. So Captain Horace Burrell by itself is not a problem. What it does, it challenges us to be more innovative in how we get the job done because the job needs to be done it, in other words the 12-year rule in westmoreland the 12-year rule in hanover the 12-year rule in saint mary the 12-year rule in saint anne in trelawney the 12-year rule in manchester should have the same access to a high quality training that the kids who are going to the Captain Horace Burrell Center has. All, the only difference should be the type of surface. So they may have a better surface, right? Because they have the, yeah, and the, 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 the turf at the Captain Horace Burrell Center. But maybe Glenmuir has a good surface where Clarendon could host Manchester. And even people on the outskirts of St. Catherine could go there. And even St. Elizabeth, that's on the South Bell, because the Glenmuir field is a very good field. There are other good fields in Clarendon that I believe that something can be done to host that. Because in the end, it will cost the parents less. Because honestly, I don't see how a youth, uh, for example, there are some footballers at a school called Petersfield High School in Westmoreland, right? Petersfield High School. Russies has a very talented under 14 team that went to the final with Manage, Russies, right? How are those players from Hanover and Westmoreland, how will they be identified? And if identified, is it practical for them to go to Kingston every day, seeing that they are in school? Wouldn't it be better if we found, because, because we have enough coaches spread across the parishes that can come together and make it work. And I'm not saying that this is the permanent fix, but what should not happen is that only Kingston and St. Andrew kids have access to the talent identification or the academy project that is happening. And, and I don't know. So, so I, all right, let, let me say this, right? Clarendon, Clarendon, for example, I mean, Mark, a lot of the other Costa Cup players come out of probably other parishes. But obviously, Glenn Muir has done well at the youth level, and so has Clarendon. I don't think those players live like in, in the central area, the central area, where they can have a quick drive over to Kingston after school, because remember, the kids are still in school, especially if you're going to do it for boys and girls. Which parent, which parent is going to send their 13 year old from Hanover to Kingston. But they probably would send them to um, West Powell Park. But there has to be this partnership in, 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 the, in the different area. 
I like, I, I, let me just read a couple of comments. Um, um, Fresh God, agree. However, um, in the essence of time to build infrastructure, I'd agree on the temporary fix what money is. Yeah, what I'm saying is that, what I'm saying is this. The, the, this is just temporary because the permanent solution is to build out other facilities. Right? Um, I know AM Henry said it's not, it's, it's not only weekends because there are players up there yesterday because the FIFA people are actually here. So there are players in camp. But obviously, they couldn't get all the talent because some of the talent live way outside of Kingston. So the players in camp who are being seen now are really those who are in Kingston and St. Andrew and possibly St. Catherine. Which I'm saying I understand because logistically that is a whole lot easier. The effort must be commended, but effort must also be expanded. It must be expanded. This this one says when uh, what I want to see, I want to see what's going to happen with youth football in the central areas because Baron Watson is going to be in charge of youth development across the country. Okay, that's important, Barry Watson. Or Byron Watson. Is Byron Watson different from Barry Watson? Or Barry Watson's correct name is Byron Watson? I don't know. Talk to me. I'm um, Christopher Wright. All right. Um, when I was in Westmoreland, they, um, they definitely had some good talent there. I wonder how they were spotted. So this is my thing. There's like a man in school did well. Rossi's did well. And Petersfield did well. How many of these kids are part of the, the, this talent identification and this academy idea. How many? How many? How many? And so sometimes a very good thing dies in infancy because it was a very good thing but it didn't have a very good plan. Because with every good thing, for it to be sustainable, there must be a very good plan. I, I don't know how many of you right. I mean, maybe you do some level of management. But in management, there is a thing called a, a Darcy. And anybody know? Um, if you put your hands up, if you know what a Darcy is. D-A-R-C-I. Anybody knows what a Darcy is? If you uh, know what a Darcy is, I want you to call in. And tell me what a Darcy is. I, I have it here and I want to present something about a Darcy, right? A Darcy is very important, right? Especially it, it, it has to do with taking on projects. Like when you're doing a project, it is always recommended that you, you do a Darcy. All right. One person said they do. All right. All right. Cool. All right. Drew, Drew, Drew Ross says he, he knows. And, and it has nothing to do with him going to Casey. He doesn't know this because this is not a Casey thing. All right. Drew Ross. It has nothing to do with Casey. But um, please don't Google it. it. Anybody who said them know it now is Google them, just Google it. <laughs> oh, Triple E is here work with um Ra Racy. Um what I don't know, I don't know what that is. I've never heard that one before, Triple E. I know a Darcy. A D A R C I. So let me show you what it is. A very simple tool that you use. Um, yeah. So let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can um, show you it. A Darcy. This is it. I think this is it, right? And then we're going to get into other things. So for, for example, you could put like, um, there you could put Jamaica Academy, right? That is the project, right? It, it, you put that there, yeah? You would put that there. So that, that is how you set up your Darcy, right? And then you have like, you'd have the decider or the delegator. That means the person who makes the decision and what is supposed to be done. Cool? We, we, we're following. Very simple thing, you know. But this is part of the balance. Um, this is part of the, the process. But this is before you get to the implementation of the project, you know, because you have to do your balance scorecard. So again, the people who do... 
um, you do management, it, it, any, if, you do, if you do business management in university or you do any sort of management, or you, do, you, you, you did like human resource management, you probably would get ah, responsibility, accountability, consulted and informed. Oh, you do, okay, I see what you mean. All right, so, so there you go. So the, the, the project is, the, the, for example, the Jamaica Senior Men's National Team World Cup qualifying campaign. And you go, the decider, the delegator, like, like who makes a decision on, 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 on this project, on this thing? Who makes that decision, right? Who is the person who is the decision maker, maker on this particular aspect, on this particular project? And you can even have it for the different departments, right? So that is the first thing. Because this person holds the ultimate power, um, the, the project. Power can be retained as the right a final approval, veto or delegated to the to, to the person, right? So that's the first thing you have. Then you have the accountable, right? Uh, the single person fully accountable for making the project happen. Who is responsible? Who is ultimately responsible for making the, 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 this happen? To, to, in other words, do it for everything. Who is, who is ultimately responsible for the booking of the flights, who is ultimately who is who who holds ultimate risk accountability that if the flights are not booked, all right, that's one. The, the other person now is the person who is responsible. Responsible. That means so what? While I may be accountable, I may not be the one who actually has to do it. I'm just I'm just being held accountable for getting it done. So that's responsible. Then consulted. Who needs to be consulted and who needs to be informed? Every single project in the football needs a Darcy. Everyone. And it is needed in every department. In every department. In every department. We need that. Of course, you'd have done Me, also, the, 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 um, the, the, let me just say this. Of course, you have to have done your balance scorecard, right? Because before this, you know, this is like, like if you have taken on any major project, you all know this. And I believe where the football is at, everything needs to be seen as a, as a, as a, as a, as a, as a project. So you, do your, you, you also need to do your balance scorecard. You, you, who are your customers, internal, um, financial, all of those things you do. And you, you know the balance score, scorecard, right? They, they have it in, in so many ways. You do that, bam, and then you get your project done. So you have a sustainable plan. And what you're also creating, you are also creating, you're also creating what we call... Um, just uh like uh, it's like an operation manual so that when you are gone there is something there right so your balance scorecard you have you, you, like a department or process and owner um objectives categories you have your matrix you have your target and you have levels, they have different ways that they do it. And you have these things step by step, stage by stage to help you. So you need it. Like, like generally people, let me tell you, you see a show like this, a lot of people not going to pay attention to it. But this is how the football goes. Because we have to have this discussion, you know. Because sometimes people just want to hear the heap of quarreling and cussing. And the, we're not into that. The football need to fix and we need to sit down and create strategic plans. You know that Andre, Andre, that's not a big up Andre, and even Cranky, like from the from the from the onset, a lot of these things have been discussed in terms of how we progress the football. An election cycle in terms of the election itself is over. And we need to begin now to to to, to challenge the powers that be to do these things, to sit down and put them in order. Listen, I started basically from nowhere and projects and because of these things like the, the exponential growth that we have seen 
and, and what has happened is just simply phenomenal. Phenomenal. And I think like we can have this in the football every single time. Although we don't have the best infrastructure. Although we don't have the we don't have the best um we don't have unlimited finances. I said it yesterday and I'll say it again. A lot of things can get done in the football without having the money yourself. You don't have to have the money, but you need to be creative enough to network well enough so you can get access to money and the resources that are necessary. So I have done things that required, like I have done projects that required millions, like, like in Jamaican currency. I've done a project in Jamaica that millions of dollars, successful, sustainable, that someone could pick it up and run with it right now. And here's what, I never had it. But where people's vision, they make, they meet the provision of the vision. Let me say it again. When people have a clear vision, they meet all the provision for that vision. Yeah, yeah, you understand me, people? Yeah. Yeah, man, yeah, man, Dima, we know, we know it too. Big up. Hey, Ro. Hey, Ro, call in, the, Ro, call in and tell the people them about the, about the, the league down at CLM, no, man. Or, or a runaway beer, a Beverly. Big up, you know. Big, big baller, that, you know. A lot of my ballers, them are calling. <laughs> big up, Chipstar. Leading. Leading the, leading the, 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 the concrete league. Yeah. All right. Let me just send them this. You understand me? Um, some of the footballers them are linked me. You understand me? Yeah. So that is it. So I think we have. I think people, we have, we have, we can access money. I believe we can access money, and people, like I said, if people see a clear vision, if people see, you know. Uh, uh, something that is so clearly outlined that makes sense, here's what will happen. They will begin to put the necessary resources in it. Because here's what, I will tell you again. To have something like that is at Captain Horace Borrell is not difficult to duplicate even though it's one Captain Horace Borrell center you have. Because you at least have a Mount Pleasant. And that's what I'm saying. We can use the, the resources we have to accomplish some of the results. So that, that's one of the things. And this, this has to do with this whole academy thing that is going on. And like I said, that I, I keep on saying that there are some... Listen, uh, a champs, champs is an example. There were two athletes from... I think this, this school is called Mushet. Um, they, were, they won two gold medals at champs. And the, the athletes even went to the Carifta and they did well. No, coming into champs, if you're not in track and field, you would not have heard about them. All right? You would not have. You would not have heard about them. Come on. But the people in track and field would know. So in the same way, we can find track and field talent in those places Then we can find footballers in some of those places. I'm telling you, you could have an under 14 competition, people, and Green Island has a good talent on it. Our little London, our Balaclava, these are schools. They are Arakabesa High School, just one player. And if you don't have the, the, the necessary things in place in those parishes, they are not going to be able to travel to the Captain Horace Burrell Center, all right? So, so that is what, but again, 
the fact that the academy is running is a good thing. Now that it is up, it is running, it is being evaluated. We need to not just maintain, we need to expand. It's one thing to attain things in life. Because getting things sometimes is easy. Maintaining things is, is difficult. But, watch this, outside of maintenance, maximizing things. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> you know, is is even more. Anyways, Demo, call you know. <laughs> All right, so people, you hear the sound? All right, so we have gone past the <laughs> the time. So you want to call in? And you don't have to take these topics. You can call in and tell me how beautiful Phil Phone goal is. I want people to check out like the difficulties in placing the ball. In different, that just this is just a um, on this, it's on the side. The, the difficulty in placing the ball in the, the V at the top are in what we call the, the corners of the goal. And you will tell that out of 10, even the, the best footballers, normally when they do this, they have like the cones or that they can kick the ball through in the corners or they have the flag. An average, only 3.5% of those get in those corners at the top. You see, to get them in the corners, whether it's a volley, it's a passing, whatever it is, it's a, it's a whole lot easier in terms of the percentage to get it in the corner of the goal. So while Va Valverde scored a beauty, that cross was what they call ping point, right weight, right height. And he just he knocked it in the corner. Here is what I will tell you though. You see that Phil Foden goal? To get the ball where he got it, it's not under pressure. It's not an easy thing to do. I am telling you. Yeah. So let me let me read this one right here. <laughs> it says, management, JFF and other dignitaries and coaching staff must go to all parishes to scope all young talent. What Casa Grande did in the past. All right. Casa Grande. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Did in the past. Yes, try. You know that, try. You, I mean, you know that, try. That there, there, were, there were some young footballers at Rossi's. I think they played under 14 because they and Manning's had played the semi final. And, and many people believe that the Rossi's team were, was a better team than the Manning's team. I think it went to penalty in the under 14. So, who is seeing those talent? And will those talent from Rossi's be able to go to the Captain Horace Borrell center for this on a consistent basis? Because they, they may live in, in Logwood. All right. Hold on. Dima, hold on there. Well, go on there. All right, let me. Oh, my God. All right, people. Dima, go and beat me, you know. You know, sir, we there are talk, talk, and nothing. Set up the car. Dude. So let's, let's, let's wait on the one and only. Dima. Demo than calling. Ah, you know how, how the man call on um, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, you know, when Liverpool play on Thursdays, you know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I need to hear from Mr. Maxwell, too, you know, because me that he, 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 he have a vast scouting network. So let's hear from him. All right, let me see if I can shout about Demo and get it. Yeah, but this is a very good point. That Welcome to the show, Mr. Liverpool himself. <laughs> My name is man. Um, please go to the people in the comment section. Listen, I mean, like, I'm me, me just, like, me just like to learn. Like, I love to ask questions. And I'm just going to ask questions. <laughs> Yeah. Why are you laughing? Just, uh, Why are you laughing? Because I know where you're going. <laughs> no, no, you do not. Know All right. Going, so uh, so, sorry, my yeah. boss. <laughs> All right. So, um, I remember a couple of years ago, 
I mean, I remember how much years ago, but there was a, I think it was an under 20, was an under 20 Premier League that we had? Or was it and, 23? Under, under 21, yeah, yeah. Under 21. 21, yeah. I, I mean, I know, I know that feasibly probably they don't have enough money to do that kind of stuff, but, but do you think that that's a way where people could go? Or you think that by the time kids reach 21 and stuff here, should be up already establishing themselves in a in a local Premier League team. Um, because in, in order to get probably youths to play and, and get recognized, maybe one other kind of league they could go and people from different parishes and and, and stuff could uh, come together and you can spot youths from that competition because you'd have people 21 and under obviously and you'd have able to spot more talent. But at the same time, I mean because you know say England didn't play under 20 league. Um, obviously, it's it probably easier for them because they have finances and they have the, the um, we call it the resources to do that. I don't think Jamaica has that. You know, but you would have Tivoli under 21s or Arnett under 21s play games on different days. I don't know how they would have worked, but I'm just to ask, like, would that be something feasible to do? And, and if you think that's something that would help in terms of um, getting youths to, to play and, and spot it easier. I, I think forward. I think I think it should be done, but I think it should be under 17. Like I think the, the Premier League teams on the days when the Premier League teams are playing, I think they should play yeah. under 17 games like curtain raisers um, and, the, oh, and okay. the tier two. Because I am saying that if you are 20. And you can't make a Premier mm. League team at that time, so you have to be playing under 21, and you can't make a Tier 2 team. I think you have a very, mm. very slim hope of, mm. of, of, um, of probably progressing very far in the football. But under 17, because under 17, a lot of the kids would be like 15 and 16. And imagine the spotlight they would get if they're playing like before the Premier League games on a Sunday. You understand me? I think that will be good for them. Yes. And then they can also play an under-15 competition where all the parishes participate. Like, it, it's, yeah, it's but, yeah, go ahead. No, no, I mean, I mean, how, how feasible, how feasible would that be? Like, will that come after the schoolboy season? Um, how, how would they make that work? Like, what would the support be like? I, know, yeah, how would I, work? I, I would do it. I would do it. This I would run it. This I would run it. Um, Along with the Premier League, because here's the thing, a youth still have the choice, because like the Mount Pleasant youths, for example, a lot of them would not end up playing mm -hmm. for Yardcastle. They would possibly play mm -hmm. for the Mount Pleasant team because they, 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 are, they are going to be playing more games, playing for, because it's, it's what, 14 teams, so that's 26 games they are going to have, which is more than they would yeah. have in Manning Cup or the Costa Cup, unless they advance mm -hmm. to like, champions yeah, the champion exactly. right so i would say run it there and they play the 26 games and i think that would be mm. good for them and then like Doki has an academy um i, I don't know mm. where they are in terms of school but you could also partner now if you don't have like enough players you could probably partner with phoenix and say listen can you can exactly. somebody you, you know that kind of a thing are you partner mm. with somebody <laughs> kingston football yeah. academy i don't know but yeah because I because to me, because to me, you know, like money's mom, Mr. Made West Milan, and obviously, um, me do um evangelism through sports. I may go around, I'm gonna go to Russia and all of them place there and something and play ball games to you. They may see some real good talent and may say, no, so but how, how people are gonna spot them you I mean, I may see them no cause may play, you know what I mean? And for me, at this level, is it's about development. I mean, no, so league I'll probably be competitive and whatever, but it's more about development and I mean sure you ever want to win the under 17 league and whatever but I think it would help a lot in terms of development and them can easily easily matriculate up in other systems and get forward to, to people look on them even more yeah but just imagine Demo like you talk about Russia imagine suppose there's a good youth there how does he go to the captain Westboro center to train it, when he yeah, when he when, when he has school like even if he goes on the weekend when will he have time to do his assignments? Mm -hmm. Like, it is so difficult just thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Unless they're going to provide tutors for him when he gets up there. Mm -hmm. And then he comes down when? Mm -hmm. Sunday night to go to school, Monday morning, having mm -hmm. done. it. It, it, it pr Logistically, I think it is too much. Mm -hmm. And we have to find a way to, to, to tap into every place that talent is. 
Yeah. Though we only have one center and find a way. Maybe, like I said, having a place in central. Yeah, I I think through the league, it would be the it would be the, a better way at the under 17. I wouldn't do it at the under 21 level because when you think about even Cavaliers, they a, a lot of their players um are young players. Like, I mean, yep, yep. you understand what I mean how of you kind of have a young team as well. A lot of the teams. Have, have a lot of young players, so you should be at 2021. 20, you should be able to, to make a, um, a Premier League roster or a tier two roster. Yeah, I agree. I agree. All right, boss, let me um, let me free up the line. I'm so I, yes, I don't yes, try to study the team. Yeah, you, you still believe, you I... still believe Val, Valverde goal is better than mm -hmm. that. Man. All right, boss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a problem. All right, so that was that was one demo Liverpool. You understand me? That demo, Dre, demo Liverpool. You understand me? Yeah. All right. Um, good suggestion. Yeah, Nevada Soccer Academy in 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 Clarendon, which is Omar Daly's um. Um, something pioneered by um, Omar Daly. You understand me? Yeah. I have this one, right? It says, um, um, we need to put the necessary database and personnel in place, right? It says, speak about the technique used. Uh, it says, just finishing, just finish watching the GA Cup generation Adidas Cup at IMG. And it says we need to create platforms like those so players can can easily be accessible to, to, to be scouted, right? You understand me? Um, that, that's the next thing, Have, having a lot of showcases. I know Christopher Wright. Christopher Wright, for example, was in Dubai with his son in a competition. I'm telling you, like, we, we need to engage. Like, I think we need to engage a lot of the people even in the diaspora, imagine like during the spring break, some of these guys bring down their under 13. Freddie Butler let's talk about his, his team. Let Freddie Butler come and bring down, you know, some of his players and they play some little competitions. All of those things are necessary because the exposure of talent and playing at a high level is very, very important at the earlier stages. At the earlier stages. And so uh, it's one of the fix. So it ties into the first statement on the, on, on the topic on the on the description fits into and um and the last statement they kind of tying to, to together all right i'd love to i don't know i'd love to get um coach freddie butler i don't know if he's available no he has this big thing coming up on the 18th they're doing more scouting let's see if we can you know love to hear from him um, because we haven't even heard from him since he's a point. This is the next thing, you know. We only hear that Coach Freddie Butler is the under 17 coach. We're not going to hear from the man, man. Why if Coach Freddie Butler go on with man? Sure, man. Fre coach Freddie Butler. Let me see if I can. Yeah, we need to hear like what is the plan because under seventeen under under seventeen start in <laughs> in August, you know. It's in August, you know. And we are in what now? April. We only have May, June, July. Not a lot of time. And then we also have the under twenty, like the the Concacaf under twenty playoff, which we are in the second round that we'll be playing. It is going to be tomorrow. No, we haven't heard from the. The newly appointed coach. What is going on? It seemed like it seemed like since um, Coach Wall was uh, reassigned, let's use the word that was used, reassigned. That the, the coach that has been assigned, we don't know that if he has done anything. Right? So, um, how is the preparation going? How is the recruitment of players going? All of those recruitment stuff like Jan Wall was speaking about prior, are they still 
in place or when he stopped, they stopped. That's, that's critical to find out. Did the recruiting of the players stop when John Wall stopped? Are we still recruiting those players? Given some of the, the, the stuff that we have heard from Mr. Craig Butland, the movement of his players, will, will those three players from Phoenix be even available? What's happening with Dujan Whisper Richards? Will he be available? You understand me? Critical. Critical, critical, critical. So, um, or maybe, maybe, there is a there there are things happening that um we don't know we don't know maybe there are things happening that we don't know Yeah, uh, I'm trying to get, um, trying to see if I can get Coach Freddie Butler um, on, but he's, uh, he's engaged at the time. So when he's disengaged, Give me a sec. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make some link, people. Yeah. So what's going on with the under 20? What's going on with the under 20? What's going on? Can you use the U20? You can call the boss. Can you use the U twenty? All right. Let me see if we can. Let me see if we can. Um, let me make some link there. Cause we need. To, we need to find out some stuff because I did some myself and I trying to stay away from, you know, reaching out to certain people because. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Mr. Speed, biggest supporter, you know. <laughs> I'll never call him. Mr. Speed don't want to talk to me, man. <laughs> Mr. Speed don't want to talk to me. From the top of Cavaliers, I get beaten. <laughs> when, they, when they meet more present, more present, double for them trouble. Mr. Speed don't want to talk to me. I'm afraid you're telling me respect you, know, but you don't know. <laughs> You know, like when I beat um, Cavaliers, you understand me? So let's see if he can join in. I don't know if he can. If he, if he uh, Once he's available still, to be honest, once Mr. Speed is available, he always, even if he disagree with you, that's what I think you must, you must appreciate with him. Um, even if he disagrees with you, he will still talk with you. All right? That is the that is the the good thing with um Mr. Speed. You know, it, don't, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so let's see if we can if we can make a link or two. You understand me? A link or two. All right. But we need to find out what's going on with the U17, how the preparation going, seeing that they have a tournament in August. The same thing with the U20, what is happening with them. I see um 
Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Um, Mr. Maxwell, welcome to I Am Sure Sports. I am live on air. So if you don't want to be on air, you can hang up, all right? Uh, I think, okay. Uh, I just wanted to just... No, just, let me just say it again. I am hey, live. Okay. I, no, let me just say it again because I, yeah, I don't know if I, make, I just, yeah, I understand. Okay. I just want to make some corrections. I made some statements like they were a fox. Um, you said that they mm -hmm. aren't um, any... The players that are going to be in camp are the rural area, sir. There are no local players in camp. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, so hold, 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 hold on, 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 hold on. No man, hold on, hold on. You need to clarify. You just said that there are no local. You said something. No, 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 no. You, you're clarifying me. In but... in, sorry, when I say local, no. no players from the Kingston Saint Andrew region in. Yeah, that's inaccurate. So, so, no, 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 because you're saying that I am inaccurate. There has been no camp for these players in the, in the Jamaica National Football Academy where it was Kingston, per, players from Kingston, which is practical because it's in Kingston and St. Catherine. None. They have players that, because those are easier for them to traverse. But that, that's what there, we said. But on, you're saying just, that there has been none. Okay. You're saying there's none. No, no. Hold on. Can I finish? Uh, I just want to make a quick statement. Okay. So, okay, I, so no no but you can't also, come and tell me that me, me, i am inaccurate and then see so you want to make a quick statement yeah. so we have to clarify that yeah, Look, no but, but so you, tell me where i was wrong was, because you made it seem that the only alternative for rural players are to to leave from school to come up there are going to be regional academies that will capture those players also so don't say that and i'm sure you should know that how, how? I could have called somebody. There are regional, academic, regional satellites that will be also encompassing those players from the various regions. So, so, all right. So, hold on. Let's break it down. So, there will be regional academy satellites. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yes. No, hold on. Hold on. We're not using no big words. There'll be there'll be ongoing regional academies operating. Isn't that what we were saying? That that is what is needed. No, you suggested. No, yeah, but it's not like is it, it's something that they don't know about. So, so no, so is it happening? Not happen. so, so, hold on. Is, is there FIFA people evaluating the academy? I don't know. You don't know? You're sure? No. You, you, see, you see why? You see I why? Can't hold on, hold on. I no. Can't no, you see why I tell you that I do not. I I, don't no, no, you don't remember. You don't know. You can't recall. And I'm saying Man, fine. Well. Let, me just stick to the, let me just stick to what I go on now. Let me just stick to what I know. <laughs> Um, there are the players are coming are in camp that are from the rural areas West Milan, St. James, uh, Manchester, Clarendon. There are, there are players from across the, the region, right, in camp, and they have been scouted by regional scouts. So, right? and what happened? Hold on, let me finish now. Yeah, let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> You mentioned several some age groups under 14. The group that is in Holana, let me finish. Hold on, no, no, you cannot leader. A listen, leader, 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 no, leader, 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 leader. Listen, you may you may be able to go on other people, but you see them live and dance. You can't come on my program and I come tell people something wrong and I tell me something enough. It's nothing to you, make you finish. So it better you hang up because me, I gotta interrupt you. You just said that they are players from all across Jamaica, in camp right now? It's, it's 117, yes. So, so when, did, what, 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 when, when did they go in camp? Because you, remember, I know, you said I that. I can't say that. Oh. I can't. No, 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 no. But, but, that, no, 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 you never had camps with just people from Kingston and St. Andrew and St. Catherine. 
You cannot answer those questions, but you're coming here to tell the people that what I said about the people from outside of Kingston. So I can tell you, if you want me and your God here, you know, we can present, we can provide receipt. And we can provide receipt that there are evaluation going on from FIFA. And it's a good thing that we say that. We can provide receipt of people in Westmoreland who were not told until recently. And the question is, how are these people who have kids in school are going to take out their kids out of school to bring them to a camp every week? How is that practical? When you said one is here suggesting that there should be satellite in other places. Now that are the point I'm suggesting. There, there, it's part of the thing. Is that, that you have but satellite it's not happening now. Sections. It is not happening now. So for you to come and say that what, is, what I am saying. Process. But now that we are talking about. No, it's you not about because what you is said inaccurate? it like it's not going to happen. You said it like a matter of statement of fact. With, instead of saying that this is something that is going to be happening. You just made the same of fact. Of fact but like it is not happening. Thing, like so, nobody thought about. I, I, listen. No, I, but, I, le, le, here's, here's what I'm telling you. Here's what I'm telling you. Before you start a project. You must outlay everything because right, right, right now, let me be clear to you right now. I don't, I don't, you can defend any cause you want to defend. Me don't need to defend any cause. Me, me tell people this, listen, I am an independent thinker and I've tried my life to be independent. So here's what, me, not, me, me, can, me can defend any cause, me want to defend because I'm not beholden to any person in this world except the almighty God, none. So here's what I'm telling you. Simple question. There have been camps for people, which is practical because the Captain Horace Burrell Center is in Kingston. So therefore, you will have people from Kingston and St. Andrew and St. Catherine having easy access to it. Nothing is wrong with that. But it must be spread across Jamaica. That is the point we're making. Here is the second thing, leader. Which will be what, done, me, which is let, also let me a part of let, the let plan me talk. from the start. So, because we know that there are talent across Jamaica, because we know that the Captain Horace Burrell Center is there, because we know that only the persons from Kingston and St. Andrew and St. Catherine are probably even Clarendon may have access to it. When the project started, all of this should have been in consideration. So while the Captain Horace Burrell Center is going on, maybe Mount Pleasant could have been engaged. Maybe Westport Park could have been engaged. Maybe the people at Glenmore. That is what we're saying. So to tell me and that... And you're assuming to, to, that to, that is not so. To tell me... No. For you to tell Just me... Just say you're assuming. So for you, you, to, say hey, you're for you to come and tell me, I'm not assuming. It is not happening. I am saying to you. You are assuming that it's not part of the plan. That's what I'm saying. But you are assuming. No, which you are Lord wrong. Of mercy, you're not. Listen, listen, if it were a part of the plan, you cannot implement the plan without covering everybody and say the plan is working. Man it is, is not. Listen, when you're building a house, when you're building a house, sir, Jesus you start at the peace. foundation. You don't build it at right. the top right away. So, it takes some time to build out. So, so let me ask you something. So, leader, leader. Will any has any of the infrastructure changed that you're using? The infrastructure that you're going to be using. So seeing that it is going to happen, the infrastructure that you're going to be using, Centan, is it established already? I can't, I don't have nothing to do with the, the so, regional centers. I can't speak on that. So, so, so oh, you but can't, you, no, one, you can't come on the plan. I don't have so if if, if you can't speak to it, listen, you <laughs> are going to speak on something I have no information. So you can't tell us. So so you don't know where it's gonna happen in King in, in Mobi. You don't know nothing about where it's gonna happen, but you know where it's gonna happen. Jeez and peace. Is, don't say don't make it seem that you know that it's not going to happen. And it's me? your suggestion. It has already no, been my part suggestion. Of the plan. Hey, you think me want a glory? It has already hey. It has already been a part so of the plan. So listen to me, now, leader. Has already been All a right. part of the so, plan. So you know that. You know it's a part of the plan. Do you know that? Do you know that it's yes. a part of the you know All right. So you know that it's yes. a part of the plan. So let me ask you a question again. You just said you know it's a part of the plan. They started in Kingston. Why simultaneously, seeing that it's a part of the plan, it could not have started in St. Anna at the same point? Okay, my name's. 
logistically, when you start, you have to start from point A before you, you reach another, another point. Everything is a matter of taking steps. You're, if you're going up a staircase, you can't move from the first floor and jump up to the, 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 the tent. You might more likely slip and fall. Yeah, you answer my you question already. Steps going All right, so step, you, you, answer, answer, you answer my question already. So let me ask you this now. So, so, all right, how long since this has started? I, the academy has been in existence for, for some 2024. What? Like, like leader? The academy has been in existence from 2024. From, when is that 2024? From January 2024? From 2024. So you, okay, so you can't give any date. It's just 2024. So we're going to assume that it started yesterday. Because yesterday is 2024. Can, is it okay, Lida? If you want to make it as ludicrous as that. So, so give, me a, give, give me a time. We are in, Lida, we are in April. We are, we are at the beginning of April. Before the academy one has been one around one. for months now. Months. months. So if you say months, it's more than two months. So let's, because you say months. So I'm going to give you two months. So it started February and March has been completed. Listen to my point, Lida. In that time between February and March, while there is a plan, the plan. I didn't say February, by the way. So no, don't quote me no, no. I'm, yeah, we, listen, we are not quoting. You said that it started for months. So far, and it started in 2024, it has started for months with an S at the end, which simply means it's more than one month. All right. I am saying to play it safe, I'm going to throw away January. That is to your benefit. And I'm going to use the two other months, February and March. It started in February. That's me. That's not on you. You're not, I'm not quoting you. I am suggesting for the purpose of this argument that it started in February. It continued in March. In that time, what has been done to facilitate the talent in Hanover? The talent in the various regions have been scouted by various regional scouts. Lists have been made. And um, we have seen the benefits of that through various uh, teams that have been put together by the regional scouts so far. Leader, I'm talking about the National Academy. I'm asking you. you. Need, and you need to identify the players first, which was part of the process. Okay. That's so, one of the standard things. Okay. So there is player identification. However, there have been camps. Right, those camps that has been held, right, they have facilitated players from two geographical locations, predominantly in Jamaica. You and I admit that there is a vast array of players in the other parishes. My suggestion to you is that that is not something that we are discovering before the initiation of the program at the Captain Horace Burrell Center, we all knew that talent was all across Jamaica, not just in Kingston and St. Andrew and St. Catherine. You and I agree that that is where the center is. So the probability of players going there first was very high. And those players would be predominantly from Kingston and St. Andrew, and from St. Catherine. We all agree on that. Here is where we disagree. For those two months since the academy has started, what we are saying we are doing is that we have the people who are from Kingston and St. Andrew that have been in the academy training, but for the other parishes, we are trying to identify the talents so we can then bring them into the academy. My point to you is that those talents should have been identified before. So when Kingston and St. Andrew started, St. Anne started. That Western oh, started. Okay. That is the point we were making. But you feel so behoven for someone that you have to come and defend something. 
That is why Can we I put up. That, that, is, that is why we Hold put on. up. That is why we put up the this, Darcy. Yep. That is why we put up the Darcy. I put up the Darcy, and other people are saying because before the implementation of the plan, consideration should have been given to every single parish, so every player gets started at the same time because it is talent identification. Why should some players have a two month lead way over others? When we no. when, listen let to me, me. Just, let me hold on. Up. Let me say something. No, and let me on. just say something. You here. go ahead. Hold on there. Let me just say something. Let me just say something here. Just listen now, right? They, you are assuming that the players that were seen from Kingston and St. Andrew are the same set that have always been in there. No, there has been a process of elimination where a number, a number of them have been eliminated, seen and eliminated, right? What, Manning, what percentage of Jamaica's population is in between St. Catherine and Kingston and St. Andrew? Leader, what percentage? Uh, leader, leader. Uh, leader. No, no, it's, a, it's, a, it's I'm, I'm answering no, you. No, no, no. I am answering you. Oh. So let me answer you. Okay. At the start of my program, I said this. Let me take up my notes. Can I write it down? You know? I'm, my wife said, I don't need a leader. I'm not fooling a leader. The population density in Kingston and St. Andrew and St. Catherine would suggest to us that this is the place where most of the players would come from. What is your point? I said that word for so, word okay, at no, the beginning of the program. Part, but let me just okay. Let's let me just go on. All I know. So what happened, right? You had a process of elimination first from that region because there are a number. Hold on, there are a number of players that were seen and you they were eliminated, right? Because they were not just brought in like that. You know, they were scouted first, just like all of those players from the Vera St James. Clarendon, Westmoreland, they are all scouted and they were listed. So what's happening now is that they will all go into the various regional centers, but there is a process being done now where the elites, the elites from these various regions are coming in for a couple of days training to, with the other guys. With which other guys? Okay. With, with which other guys? With the other set that which is which other set Saint Andrew. So so how this, this, don't you see, this is why you are flawed and because Saint here's Catherine. here's why you have a set already. You, you understand the point, the flaw in your system. You have a set already that you are watch this now. You're going through the other parishes, you know, to go through your process of elimination. Follow me you now, because you have a set already. I am saying to you. That you have a set. Uh, you you once, just once that a Jesus man. You, you say you have a set already. I know you say you do have a set. Me confused. You go ahead and tell. No, listen, listen, listen. The youngsters that are there now, right? They are going to be incorporated with the rural based players that are coming into camp, and then there's going to be another process of elimination again. But there's also always going to be a record of various players because it is everything goes on to limitations and the amount. Economics. Leader, how many youngsters leader, you can have at you, any time. Leader, let me say this. You know that all of us believe that this academy is a good thing. We, we that's what we have been talking about. But we said this. We must not only like all of these things, you know, because I, I believe that you have been influenced to make the call. So let me just help you. There is watch this. We said this. One thing to attain is a difficult thing to maintain, but we need to go to expansion of what. Is there and being maintained. So we were discussing maintaining the thing. So let me let me tell you this. If I want to find who are the best 50 players in Jamaica, right? I need 50 players to put in a national academy. What would be a better thing to do is seeing that whatever infrastructure is here. It will not change drastically from January 2024 to March 2024. So all the logistical situations will remain the same for the most part in those three months. So if after the first three months, I am now going to some parishes to set up satellite, it means that the process of planning was not comprehensive enough. Because my point is, since from last year, 
uh, in, from in 2023, you and others have suggested that they are scouts. Knowing that this was going to start in 2024, those players should have been scouted. So that they have been scouted. Adam, no, 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 so no. Don't yeah, assume all right. they have so, not. So, they have so all of these players were scouted. Yes, they are ah, on a database. Wonderful. So these players that you're talking There's about. There's a database. Yeah, of all fine. Of those Congratulations. Of all of the players across. Right across the all region. All the players across Jamaica were scouted from 2023. All the players from across Jamaica, there was a database with all of them for this national the elite players all right. the, elite the elite players, players. all the elite players let me put you want to put in anyone 100 no 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 all but right you will have the all majority right. of the let, elite let, let, players let, i'm putting in the, all, seen. all the elite players have been seen so you may have probability of errors totally understood yes there you go. Leader, no, we have it. So it's a dynamic situation. Dynamic so it's a situation. dynamic situation. There you where go. if somebody else there comes you up, go. they come yeah. in. And there you go. Might there come you out. Go. Because you're talking That's about selection. Because you're defending Kingston. Let me help you, right? That's 20. No, I'm not defending Lord Kingston. Let me I'm defending the whole thing. So defending the whole thing. All right. Everybody you are defending right. the whole thing. So 2023, the scouts did a fantastic job. Created the database. Of course, we know that they will make errors. So 2024, the program is going to be started. 2024, you have the list of all the players. You have the database. These are elite players in your estimation. Why, when you were starting in Kingston, you did not start in St. Anne? Some parts of the database would be larger. So first thing to do, if you have 60 players from one region, two regions per se, wouldn't it make more sense to cut that down to say 30? Right? Because some of the other regions, you know, you're not going to have the same 60. You might have one area that might have 10, one area that might have four, one area that might have 20. So what you try to do first is get rid of the larger cohort, right? Narrow them down, right? Then after that, you move into the smaller satellites. Okay, so, so let me work with your theory. So West Milan has four. Hanover has I two. didn't say West Milan has I'm four. giving you an example, don't say, sir. No, don't say so that. So I am giving you. Uh -huh. So, so uh, um, did I say okay. you said that? What wrong with you, man? Relax yourself, okay. man. Okay. Let me tell us a leader. <laughs> I, I may play the fool, but I won't be played by no fool. Me, me no fool. Me not, not disrespect. What is me? I said West Milan has four. I'm going to use your scenario. West Milan has four. Saint Elizabeth have two. Hanover have six. Six and two. Six, seven, eight, eight, eight plus four, eight, one, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Plus, watch this, plus ten from St. Elizabeth, right? Twelve plus ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-two. Why, when there was a group in Kingston at the Captain Horace Borrell Center working to eliminate the larger cohort, according to your words, why wasn't there a next group in St. Elizabeth with those 20 eliminating that cohort? And the same thing for Clarendon and uh, or you can go St. Mary, St. Anne, and Trelawney. Why weren't all of those things being done simultaneously so that at the end of the elimination process, all the players now who are going to into the academy start at one time. Why would I already select some players from a cohort and then I'm going to bring in other players to look at them, to, to see if they fit into... No, they are not being looked at. They're not just being looked at. They are a part of it. They are oh, not... Oh, listen, no. Oh, Let me oh, just say, no, oh, they God are Jesus. a part. They're not just being looked at. They are a part of it, sir. So don't say that they're being looked at. Like they will always be a part of it and they'll be developed over time. So it's not going to be a, an academy of King Science Center and whatever. What, what are you talking about? So, 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 leader, leader, so, leader, so you just said to me that you are going to bring the, the new not set. No, Lord of mercy. Um, so the, uh, the mysterious person, so we're going to call the mis a mysterious person is going to bring the players and they are going to go 
with the cohort, the other set. That's what you set, the other set. The, that is already there, and there'll be a process of elimination. You're saying that that is not the way it works. So we can correct that. So, so you're saying that you're going to be building, you're going to be building an entire unit, but the other set from the from whatever region, right? You will have players. You'll always have a set from say the the eastern side, the western side, the you understand the northern side and the south. You'll always have these players. They are not going to be eliminated and taken out. So you will always have these regional entities that will have these players being developed, right? And from time to time, they'll be integrated, right, as one, one unit for say. Say we're going to look for okay. An under so, so so the elite players. Hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on now. Let me there. finish. Mm -hmm. Say we have a tournament coming up, and we need players born two thousand and five. Right, but that's not a cohort you're looking at anyway. But say so 2005, yeah, yeah, okay, right? Right away, we in we'll have a set of players there. We'll know that okay, this set in the academy are the 2005 from Westmoreland, St. James, Kingston, uh, you know, um, wherever. And we, we are, it's easier because evaluations would have been done on them, they would have been training regularly, and then it's a simpler process to bring them together oh. because they, they're playing oh. the same philosophy, oh, okay. Okay, so, 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 so hold on, hold on, hold on. Bring them so your, your, your elite, according to you, the, the elite, the, your elite academy is simply this. The elite players from Kingston and St. Andrew will train together. Say, let's say the under 14. Not Kingston and St. Andrew. I, I'm, I'm Kingston going to go Center. through. So Kingston and... It's the eastern end. It's the eastern end of the island. You have an eastern... E yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 the, the it's elite, broken into four regions. All right, four regions. So, the elite players from the eastern end will they will we'll use, train together. Will train together, and this is the Same best for the west. The, the best, like the best place, would be the Captain Orsborough Center. That's where they would train. All right. Yeah. For the west, and we're talking about under fourteen. Remember, we also said that the population density would make places like Kingston and St. Andrew dominant in terms of the numbers. So, um, let me just correct you on one thing. Hold on, let me just correct you on one thing. Can you mention under 14? Please no, just, no, just just, we just, we're we just using that. We use it, Lord no, and Mercy. We use no, an ex no. Listen, we ha we're not. Hey. Leader, like seriously, no, I'm some... just saying it you now because but you, no, you, you, you know, you use under 16, you groups. use under 16, and I never stop you. No, me use under 14, you have stopped me. You think me an idiot, man? Me not, we okay, don't know that, man. You. Okay, go on, yeah, man, go. Okay, go. go. So, mm -hmm. the under 14, and that me, me not use year group, the under 14s, the elite ones, by the process of elimination, the say Kingston and St. Andrew have 25, those 25 will meet and train at the Captain Horace Borrell Center at different intervals as a continued way of developing. That is what is happening. In Westmoreland, you are telling me those same, the two under 14 that them find in that parish, going to stay in Westmoreland, are you going to say that that is the Western region? So if them have two in Westmoreland, one in Montego Bay, them have two in Hanover, and one in St. One in St. Elizabeth, one in Trelawney, those five players will meet together and train and not go to the Captain Horace Borough Center. But they will train. The five of them will train together. And then when we are ready, we can say, okay, these five have been trained. Hold on now. Okay, ask, hold on. Let yeah. me just say one thing before. Mm. Hold on, hold on. You've been rather. Um, listen, listen now. Let me just I'm say ask something. You, let me ask you. You will, have, you will have squads of probably about 30 each or so. It's not anything like two or three. Okay. So basically, I can't. So it's nothing like what you're trying okay. to, to, so, to do and say so, right so, here. So the National Academy then will have uh, close to thirty people in the Eastern Conference. Let's say, let's say, okay, let's say overall you might have 160 kids overall. Overall, let's so there there'll be 160 kids at the under 14 level, all mm -hmm. over Jamaica. If you're different age groups, yeah, probably no, one. no, 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 you have to make it, you have to explain that part, you know, that they'll be split into no. the year that they are born to, yeah, yeah. they will be split in 2008, 2009, 2010, 2006, 2005, 
2004, 2003, 2001, 2022. Because the point I'm making, it makes no difference. So, if you have 160 in total, you divide that by the four regions, 4, 4, 16. That's 40 per region. All right? So, if we go 40, we have to assume, which is reasonable to believe, that the possibility exists, leader. All of us know this. That because of the population density of places like Kingston and St. Andrew and St. Catherine, the greater numbers will be in those parishes. All of us agree with that. So therefore, the numbers for like a Westmoreland, Hanover, which we don't generally see a lot of talent coming through, though they have talent. We, we really don't, to be fair to Kingston and St. Andrew. Therefore, the numbers there will be less, right? Um, hold on there, Let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Let me finish. Let, let me, let no, me but just, just, let, just, which region is it? Gener gen generally, generally, Jamaica doesn't see a lot of youth talent coming from Hanover, Westmoreland, St. Elizabeth. It's going to change for Westmoreland right now. I can tell you because the two, they have different age groups that Westmoreland will dominate. Whether, so where, that. whether it is, Lord have mercy. Leader, 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 leader. Generally, when we, we can, we can go back to our U teams. You want to go back? You want to go back to our national team? You want to go back to U teams? Because generally, when we have the youth teams, generally, the greater talent pool comes out of Clarendon, St. Catherine, Kingston, and St. Andrew. So don't tell me that I am inaccurate. And that is because they have the larger footballing puppet. That is why most of the football titles in Jamaica, schoolboy football history, come out of those parishes. That is why most of the Premier League titles come out of those parishes. That is why there are more of those clubs in our Premier League and in our Tier 2 than the other parishes. That is why more female football titles have been won in those parishes than any other parishes. So you're going to tell me something and inaccurate, my brother. That is exposure. What me not? One of the reasons tell me is something wrong. So you're telling me something wrong. Happen. But you're well, telling me something wrong. What? How are you telling me something wrong, man? How are you telling me that I'm wrong? Is those, those players from, say, Westmoreland that are identified at that young age, they will be getting this quality quality coaching from earlier, playing within a system. So when they do come in, they are not at a disadvantage to other kids from elsewhere. Because you I can tell you, leader. You, you, that is what <laughs> you're going to see. Leader, leader, the kids from outside of Kingston and St. Andrew, the kids in Western Jamaica and, and Eastern Confed, it was not for the lack of quality coaching why some of them were not into youth programs. Come on, leader, do not do that to the coaches across Jamaica. It's not because I lack a coaching leader. Don't no no don't don't correct yourself. It's not because of the lack of coaching leader. I never said coaching. I never said coaching. I never, I never you, you, meant you that said, way but, that it's coaching alone. I you, said exposure, exposure. No, you, you when you went on from exposure, you talk about quality coaching leader to suggest leader that the reason why they were not there is because they didn't have quality coaching. So no, they're gonna have quality coaching, which is not the case. When Del Downswell was down there coaching. And he's part of the elite program. You're going to get elite from. We're going to get some of no, the but, very but, best. No, but but that is why coaches. it was. It was coaching was never the issue. Everton Tomlinson was down there coaching. So coaching as Dean Weatherly was down there coaching. Steve Butner was down there coaching. And that's why you're going to see a lot of very good talent coming from this area. These areas, I can tell you, a lot of very good talent is going to be coming through. From I, I, I can tell you from what. I know. Um, when you reach the Digger Henry hard, but... was down there coaching. Yeah, hold on. Listen, I'm not this with anything on that thing. What I'm going to just say, but you say I'm inaccurate. Um, you know, yeah, <laughs> you know, we're in. So let's just say that it's a positive move, right? And a lot of youngsters will benefit, especially even say the goalkeeper cohort that they'll be exposed, you know, quite early. To a lot of things that they yeah. would normally when they reach at the national level, that's yeah. when they are exposed. Uh, 
All right, Lita. Lita. Yeah, man. So Lita, listen, I think you're doing yeah, a, I think you're doing a good job. You and your scouts. I think you're doing a better job than what used to be done. I think the academy is a very good thing, but I think how it started is not the best way. I believe equal opportunity, and that means it could all have started at the same time across the parishes because the infrastructure that will be used according to you for the small satellite is the same infrastructure that is available now. And whether you agree or not, here is what the issue is. People still believe that there's a preferential treatment to the footballing people in Kingston and St. Andrew and St. Catherine for the most part than those in other parishes. I am glad that an effort has been made and this was an ideal opportunity to have everything spread out across and all it required was a more better strategic plan to see how could we possibly have all of this happening at the same time. Because it's a good plan. So you never needed to come and defend anything. What you have done is really, I believe, added even more substance to the point I was making. But keep up the good job. Okay, man, and Zeman. And as I said, we'll see the fruits over the next couple of years. I like, I like, I like a Jamaica okay. Football Federation business card, though, man. <laughs> our, our people are not supposed to know. No, it's not for everybody, sir. So, so you, but you have it as a profile picture, though. But I'll, I'll know. It's because, no, when I speak to um, <laughs> certain uh, parents, and so they want to know it's just on WhatsApp. No, man, I'll have to change that. Yeah, oh, it's not for everybody. So, so nobody's supposed to know that you're, you, are, you work with the JFF as a scout, but you have a business yeah, card that you give out to people. No, it's not given out to people. So, so but leader, when identification when, purposes, it's for identification purposes. So when you do speak to people on the phone for the first time, they know exactly who is speaking to them. It's just that everybody has that. All of the regional schools have that. So, okay, but nobody is supposed to know that you are you are a school. No, I didn't know. I no, no, I didn't say that. Uh, that's no, several people know. That, that's not okay. Much. So it is okay for people to know that you are a regional school. Yes. Sir. Okay. I, yeah, I don't think that's a problem. With the JFF, I don't think that's a problem. Because I think that way, you know, um, yeah, if you see, see that little young stuff in Junction who nobody has ever seen playing in a scrimmage game, you can yeah, recommend them, and we can arrange to have one of the regional schools go have a look at him. So okay. that's what we want to do. So it is Get okay. It is okay. All right. So it is okay if people are uh, Kwame within Saint Elizabeth identify a talent. It is okay for him to reach out to leader. Who he sees online and, 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 and recommend because he sees you and he knows you. He may not know the person. No, himself. And, and from there, no. And from okay. there, no. We can find from the regional coordinator for okay. that era. Did you see this youngster, Kwame Jones, that plays for Knox College? Okay. Right? What, what can you say about him? And he might say, okay, yes, I saw him. Youngster um, plays quite slowly. Um, his first such is poor. Uh, he uses. One of his foot prime primarily. That's other thing. And, so, you know, so, have so, an evaluation. You, you know what I want to ask is, no, when somebody recommends players, because that has even happened in this time here, when people have recommended players, they saw them being at certain schools, and when you know you check with the regional schools, they can give you a breakdown on all of their weaknesses and strengths. All right. So, so yes, exactly, yes, my exactly. thing. So, so when are you scouting? When you're scouting, right? Are is this scouting like talent identification, or? system identification because there's a difference I, I just learned that i know but, all right so can you explain to the people what is system identification different from talent identification and which one you are doing or if you're doing both yeah basically we're not looking so much look here yeah i'm gonna have players that play well first please can systems. you first explain right, well, can you can explain the difference to the people who don't know I'm not, I'm not going to go through the whole thing there. Right no, now, just give them a... I said, no, have some sick. calls. My name is, let me tell you now. Listen, no, listen, listen. You have players that play within certain systems and will be able to fit into certain systems that you have, right? 
Okay, talent, you have players that basically have the basic tenants that you will want in the football players that have certain uh, the basic tenants. Tenant, okay? tenants, but tenants, they, what is tenants? Come on, oh, come geez. on. Come on, oh, man, God. you're, you're a coach. Like, what, what pace, is come on, look, look. We're talking about pace, skill, look here. Um, speed of thought, man, I'm not going to go through all of this now, either. Because seriously, some parents calling me right now because some guys that supposed to be in the camp, I'm half answered. They've been calling consistently, so I have to really take the calls up here. Honestly, I'm all, right, go. all right, all right, not a problem. Okay, all right, all right. Thanks for your yeah, time. Man, man. I think one yeah, of them will come from your Paris here too. All okay, right. so I'm half a go. All right, cool, yeah, cool. Okay. <laughs> it, um, I think it's basic tenets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if we can um um go and read the uh, <laughs> uh listen I think I think it like you know that it's kind of sad because we're speaking highly of the thing, you know. I, I don't know why leader felt like he needed to come and defend anything because we're speaking of the thing highly. Let's see if we can <laughs> yo um People, my brother said, "No, come on for the program." He said, "Program boring." I was in love when in love when we cause. Hey, so people, me got me got call him out right there though. Um, you see, Mister Speed, him say, "No, come on the program, cause the program boring." He said, "We have to spice up the program." <laughs> yeah, this over there. You know what I mean, people? They man take with a clown. You understand me? <laughs> 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 yes, Brando, you know what he means. No, I want to help him because he's a he's a scout. So I wanted to just give him the correct word. I wasn't trying to be hard, but man wants to stick to <laughs> he wants to stick to where we say so we we'll leave it uh, we we'll leave it alone. But let's see if we can coach, get coach Boris um to join the program. Um yeah. Um uh, yeah, and talk to us. But like I said. I think the, the whole thing should have started at the same time. Simple. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, because you can't, you can't like select a group and then you yeah, bring the other group in. Like you can't have a group before. Everybody should be playing. And while everybody is playing, you have the scout and the four persons there and the scout and the four persons there. And then everybody come with the names. And then those 200 names come together at some point and then play. And then you do that. You don't start and say, okay, we have selected these, whatever. And then we're going to find some others to basically add to it. That to me is not the best practice. And you can agree, you can disagree, but that is it. And like I said, all the things that they are going to use for the satellite are already in place. So why never just start it? No, if you can say that we never had the resources, we don't. That's a different thing. Give that explanation. You didn't have the physical resources, the human resources, or the financial resources. So you have to do it one at a time. I can understand. I can understand. But the football in public in rural areas still believe there's a level of favoritism shown towards the two larger parishes, Kingston and St. Andrew and St. Catherine, when it comes on to football. That's how the people feel and expressing their sentiments. It, it, nothing is wrong with that. But don't come and say the thing is inaccurate when the people in the academy has been working, 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 for quite a while. So some of the kids have been exposed to a lot of this since the beginning of the academy. You understand me? So, like, like I said, I suggest... <laughs> This man saying that countryman them have short man complex from long time. Rob, let me tell you this. It's not a matter of country. More beers now. You, you can't even call places in Jamaica country again. Montego Bay is not no country. 
yeah, I want to give you an example. You know who won the All Island Primary School competition? Who? Coronal the Primary. You know where they are from? St. James. They defeated a school in Kingston. And the match was played in Kingston. They, in fact, they went to the final last year. And they lost. And they came back to the final this year and they won. The, the primary school champions of football in Jamaica, Coronal the primary from St. James. The people that were from St. James know that school, they're not true. Coronal the. Don't it? Lot of talent comes through there. Yeah. Oh, let me call Coach. Yeah, let me call Coach Boris because him that try call. Yeah. Next to Jared Park. There you go. A lot of good players normally come from that school and play. Yeah, man, Coach Boris, welcome to the show. I know you were trying to call, but I was talking to um, one of the regional scouts for the Jamaica Football Federation, um, Mr. Paul Maxwell. They call him the leader on this platform. Yeah, man, but um, yeah, talk to me. You were listening to the conversation. You were on before he came on, so I don't know. Yeah. He, he didn't hear probably some of what I was saying, so I think he came on in the middle and um, he was trying to correct some things that I felt like, you know, never needed to be corrected. But w w what is your take on the conversation and what you have been hearing so far? Uh, uh, not so much the conversation. I'll get into the conversation last. Uh, just let me say uh, good afternoon to the wider listeners. We're in the diaspora there, all right? So not all uh, over uh, England all about because I know your program spread wings and, and travel the world. So let me say good afternoon, good night, good morning, or good evening to everybody uh, that's tuning and listening to the platform. And good afternoon to yourself, because I know the base and rooted somewhere in Jamaica, or you might be on the road traveling. Uh, just to give you the, the, the youth 17, as you know, uh, we were up and running from last year uh, in terms of trying to find talent on two different levels. The levels that we look at is what we call ID2, which is a uh, national level, or you can say elite players. And then we have the PDP, which is uh, from a player development program from point of view. I mean, uh, you have known that we have sent a couple of players down to join in terms of the last few 17s. Uh, but let me update you in terms of what's happening, in terms of what we're doing on uh, North American side. Yourself, kudos to Freddie Butler. And kudos to all those guys. I might have not calling their name personal, but they know themselves. The Roger Thomas, uh, Kerry James, Carlton Simmons, Kerry, Carlton Simmons, uh, the Roger Thomas, uh, Char Richard, Richard, R Richard Edwards, Leon Garden. Yeah, you know, you know all those guys. So let me say kudos to those guys, and let me say uh, I just want to say this. To tell them thanks for taking the busy time up to their schedule so they could have let uh, uh we have done a couple of camps we have identified in terms of already look at our public here our approximately 250 kids so far which will be the 10th and uh we have the youth 17 08 09 yeah 08, 09. Uh, uh, there are some past camps that we had did before and that we had uh, put some talent from a national point of view. And when I say national point of view, these are kids that we already identified. Uh, put together. Because as you know, FIFA changed in terms of what they're doing now for youth workers. 
Yeah. It's not every two years no more. It's every year. So we're basically planning ahead in terms of for the one in 25 and the one going forward. We have identified a number of talents. Yeah, from yeah. Coach Barris, you're going in and out. I don't uh -huh. know if you're, if you're driving or something, but sometimes... Yeah, 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 sometimes you, you, you're going in and out. Uh, let me just ask oh. you, yeah, one of the questions someone is asking uh -huh. if, if because I I, uh, I think there is a, a, a summer thing going to, for Sweden. Will some of these players who, yeah, which is I'm, under 15, I'm, will some of these I'm, players that you guys have been working with, will they be able to try out to see if they can fit into an under 15 team? Yeah, I'm, I'm going straight into that. What okay, have, okay, sorry. Go ahead. Presently coming up. Uh, we had some um, turn up for those camps, so we're still reaching out again on uh, this month 10, on the 27th, on the 28th. We'll have our next ID camp in uh, Coral Spring, thanks to Roger again and his wife, Laurie, for providing us with such a beautiful facility. So we'll have one more on the weekend of April, the month 10, 28th, 27th, where we look at talent again, and then uh, I think we're trying to make it possible that we can be in Jamaica on the fourth and the fifth, so we can take a look at what happened there in terms of if we can scout a lot. There we're trying to see if we can look at at least 300 to 400 players from all parishes. In, in the Jamaica? Uh, wow. Yeah, in Jamaica. I know it's going to take a lot of time, but uh, we are willing to make the sacrifice to get this right. And so every kids on the island or in their diaspora get a, 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 a fair opportunity in terms of protection. Uh, we had, we had, we had a, a tremendous opportunity Had pushed back to like eight days because of the weather. We have the the opportunity of going and scouting at the GA Cup, which is the, the, the Generation Adidas Cup, which yes. facilitates for boys, youth 15 and youth 17. I must say it was a pleasure being there. I mean, Roger Thomas was came over. Uh, we have the likes of uh, Gregory Simmons was there also, Lena Han, and then a pair of eyes. Uh, we had Kerry uh, James himself. I was also over to learn a pair of eyes also. We had an army Ralph, the money Ralph, which is a, a FIFA, uh, FIFA agent, a uh, pass player for other viewers you guys know, and pretty much helping out with the Jamaican selection. We have Richard Edwards also that we were... Oh, uh, Richard so, Edwards was here as well. ...on phone in terms of giving his feedback, letting us know in terms of him over from Montreal and uh, both uh, Toronto FC. And I must say, while on the platform, it was uh, pretty much and what we have seen. I mean, some of the players that we already looked at in the camps were some of the players that were playing for uh, some of the top clubs in the GA Cup. You're talking about players that have been attached to Inter Milan, Inter Miami. There's players being attached to Houston. There's players being attached to Cincinnati, Cincinnati. New England and, and you as you know these are all MLS clubs. But it was good to see that uh, there's a certain contingent coming out of Canada in terms of there's a nice kid at Montreal and there's a couple of kids at Toronto FC. I mean we are trying to communicate with these clubs as smooth as transition into, into what we are trying to do in terms of the U15 and U17. I, I must say while in Jamaica To see how much uh, and to see what is there to transition into the 17th. And I'm talking the, the 15th and the last set of the 17th because, as you know, there's probably. Uh, yeah. All right, Coach, ba Coach that... Barris, oh, just hold on uh -huh. a sec. Yeah, because you're still breaking up a little bit. But I have a question here. There is someone asking how players get scouted from within Canada. But as Coach Barris just uh -huh. said, they had kids from uh, Montreal and from Toronto that were that were there. And I know, um, like, Richard Edwards is over in Canada, but someone was asking that question, that how does players get scouted from within Canada? Uh, we have the liaison on the ground. We have Richard Edwards himself, which is pretty much a part of uh, their football system on that side. And then uh, we have the opportunity, as I said, to see the players from Toronto. Uh, we have seen a few from uh, Montreal that came over for the GS Cup, GA Cup. Uh, we were looking forward to see if... Uh, Vancouver White Cup would be present, but uh, there was not the tournament. Uh, I don't know the reason why. But we have Richard Edwards on the ground there in, uh, in uh, Canada. We also have uh, people like Porter. 
Devon, Devon, like, Devon Porter. Yeah, we have people like those that Lena entering high to the program in terms of what they see at a national level or at a player development program level, which is is, is the two sides that we we, we 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 tend to look at. Uh we are pretty much glad and we are pretty much uh, interested in what taking place in Jamaica. However, we can be a part of it. Uh, we would like to be a part of it. Not only just to share knowledge, but to also get a feedback from them and to learn from them in terms of what they're doing. And uh, so everything can come to one successful for the youth 17 in terms of the, the World Cup in 2025. Yeah. What about what about I know that there is um limitation in how many in terms of how many from uh the diaspora uh, that, that has been made clear by the the Jamaica Football Federation, which it is suggested that is a part ah, of their policy ah. document. But when you think about the numbers, I mean like I, uh, is there a I danger think... in terms of having all of these players uh, knowing that not even if they depend on the quality, they, they may not be able to all be fitting based on like the, the the quota rule that is in place and then you have like uh, even kids from england how 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 are you guys going to maneuver um ar around uh, that, that and still keep the players it, like encouraged and want to represent jamaica one of the things for me man is man is, is not so much uh maneuver but uh, i mean it's it's the gfs had, had put a, a quota system in place it's it's kind of uh, it's not something that I've, I've I've used to as somebody that come through the program of playing youth soccer. I mean, uh, pretty much wherever you could find the talent, and once the talent could fit into what the national program is doing, then they are the one that's been given the opportunity. I mean, when you look at these kids that we look at in the diaspora at 15, 17 years old, I think going forward, the JFF has to find some means or some ways that they can still be a part if, if they are not included in what, what's happening because I guarantee you if, if, if they're not given that opportunity then we go and definitely lose them to somewhere else. Here, like here's here's my suggestion and I think I've suggested to Canada. I have suggested this to you and even to Freddie before. I think that the realistic option for Jamaica is that we have these players because they are Jamaicans that they we have a group of under 15s under 17s that we can play they can they they can be in the img as a oh. jamaican team because under 15 is really these regional tournaments so if you have an under yeah, 50 which, which, if you have an under 15 uh -huh. and you don't bring them to the conquer cup one because it's just like the tournament at img that then yeah, the other under, under 15 which, which, should be the jamaica the the, the jamaica yeah. um u15 Select, which we not really understand, a, yeah. Which we understand, I think that's what has to happen can, to we, capture we them. Can, and no, yeah, but here's, the, here's the thing we can put them into a group to say, Look, this is our under 15 and this is our under 17 from North America. But what it, I'm saying, yeah, if, and, and, and they fall underneath Jamaica, yeah, understand if we have them playing into the say the J Cup, for example, yeah, it's not a it's not a CONCACAF sanctioned tournament or it's not a FIFA sanctioned tournament. So what happened, it will be like in Jamaican saying we are fattening how is it? Fall fall, 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 fall for mongoose. Yeah, because what happened, we will let, we will take them to a level of preparation in terms of having them for this tournament. But why if it's a situation that USA see them now and invite oh, them? Oh, I see what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And say, whoa. So they, yeah, they, yeah. Will, they will still be after the cup. They will still be after the cup in the Right, 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 so right, the right, 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 right. Makes sense. So because it's not a problem. Yeah. It's not a problem playing in we can have we can we have there's, there's like a lot of tournaments that we could play them in. We could take them to Portugal, we could take them to England, and they play underneath Jamaica. But once they're not playing in like FIFA sanctioned tournaments. Or Kanka Cup to say they represent Jamaica, then they'll still be eligible to play for USA. They might be still be eligible to play for Canada, and there's a possibility that you might lose them there. So my thing for the JFF is that uh, if we can go as far as create three groups for these eight groups, I mean there's somewhere in the window that you can find some international friendlies where they can represent the country at some point. Oh, okay. Or, 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 or be at a tournament. At some point in time to represent Jamaica. Yeah, so, so that like way, like that the U seventeen the U seventeen could probably play against um say Turks and the Caicos in the in Florida. 
good, 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 good. So we could have those international games. Ah. Uh, and an international friendly. Yes. Then now we could have the bulk of the group now that make that cut to be in the final that we take off to the okay. Cup. I think I think that I think I think I think that is an idea that uh, should be pursued because yeah. what 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 I know is that yeah. if we don't if we don't um find a way of of capturing them very young then like I said yeah. a USA could see the talent and yeah. and you would have spent a year of having these camps developing them. And they, I mean, I yeah. mean, I mean, not to cut you, but it already started management. Yes, kids that we already scout, already we have them in our training camps on the mountain, and USA is now involved in there in their pools. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I mean, USA, oh. have, they, USA, USA have a national ID camp that is coming up in May. Oh, and the that US. So you you camp. invite them to the the camp this at the end of this month, and the USA yeah. have also invited them. You know what I'm saying? No, no, not, not invite. They already been at some of the oh, 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 oh. USA now is inviting them to their ID camps. Oh, so you see what happened? Yeah, there's a battle going on right now. So, so there's a there's a deep battle going on because we were re well represented on every platform in terms of the Jacob. We are out there in our Jamaican colors, so they see us, they can identify with us, and they know. So they 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 understand what's going on. Some yeah, because I, I have some player. pictures. I have some pictures of you and some of the players, but because you know we don't know them, but yeah. Yeah, but, but the reality of it, even those pictures you see with those kids, if we don't try and cut them, then the reality of it, some of them I already see the list for the camp that USA without their ID camp in there. I already see the list, and some of their names are already on the list. So that's <laughs> that's not the level and and, and the, competitive, the competitive nature of the beast that's happening. So I think the federation need to sit and to look at this with some sort of urgency to see how best we can galvanize all this talent, whether locally and, and, and in the diaspora, because it, 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 it's pretty much not as easy as they think. Uh, scouting is well, and it's been done well on one level, but understand the level of competition or what we're being faced in terms of Canada, in terms of USA. I mean, these are, these are, well, these are giants in CONCACAF like ourselves, but understand what they come with. They come with a little bit more resources than Jamaica. So therefore, we have to look at this very carefully. And I, as I told you, as we speak right now, I look at the list, and there's a couple of kids on the list that are already been invited to our camp. We have been working with them over a number of times, but now the USC fit invite them into their system. Yeah, because, then, I mean, this this is, listen, I don't understand, if, like, let me just help people. You have players, like I said, for this camp coming up that are from Toronto, right? You have yeah. players from Atlanta, from Boston, um, uh -huh. from London, right? From from Miami, Cincinnati. from Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Yeah, from, you understand me, just Inter different. Milan. Inter Milan, yeah. yeah, from Dallas. Um, So it, it uh -huh. is a, so, so it is it is it is in 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 in, in coral spring it it also yeah. is capturing players from all across yeah all across because we we, we we try to communicate it as broad as we can in i mean we're not limited in to just the united states but we're trying to communicate it as as broad as we can we know it's not easy for the kids to travel in and we must say thank you appreciation to the, the parents to the parents yes the support, yes yes to the support that they, they offer in trying to get into the kids so they, they they can showcase their talent and they can be a part of the kids as i speak to you management we had lost five good players that was at the camp then became a part of US pool so they weren't a part of our youth 17s the last 17s that was oh five five of five players. those players wait oh my lord which i don't i won't ever know which five yeah. Yeah. So, so that's 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 the reality of the situation on this side. So, as Whoa. I said, the federation has to sit and look at this carefully, and 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 and, and look at it quickly, and, and 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 therefore come up with a solution because it's it's one thing to see the talent, but understand these kids are are are, are dual citizens. Yeah, the one thing though, because I mean. You know, uh, one thing though, there's no goalkeeper <laughs> in the setup. No, 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 no. I mean, we have a, we have a couple that, that, that uh, we have a couple that we're looking at. But as I said, 
understand the battle that we are in with the United States and Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because even these two Canadian kids are here that they are very, they are, they are very good. And it is unfortunate that um so far when when you look at the beginning uh -huh. of these camps in last year that we have already lost five to the USA, you know. Can no, you can I imagine you. that and, 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 we are, since since not, last year to I'm this not, year we have lost five of the better talent we have lost five. to USA and already? And, and understand this, and I want I want the listeners and the viewers to understand this. I'm not saying this as word of mouth. We stand and we watch them practice with the USA, so it, 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 it's no joke. And and this is the situation that we face, so we have to understand it. And as I said, the federation has to look at this very carefully because understand the development and understand players moving from one certain level of development to the next. I mean, if we don't try and get these players at least 17 year old, I guarantee we're going to lose them at 20. And then it's going to get worse when, 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 it, when, when it goes for the senior program. So I think it's something that we have to look at carefully and see how best we can address it. I mean, we have to put a quick time on it also because, as I said, and as I speak to you, we had five kids that came to our camp, but we lost them to USA. Yeah. And, and if, if, we're not, if we're not careful, if we're not sharp enough, then the reality of it is a possibility we might lose some more. I mean, we don't want to, but there's, there's, there's this possibility. And as I said, it's just, it's just thanks and appreciation to the parents. That, that's our willing enough to say, you know what? We want you to represent Jamaica because, I mean, there's, there's two sides of it to this thing because most of them are dual citizens, as you know. But but the other thing is, is that, um, all right, there, all right. So Anthony Mark, big up Anthony Mark. You understand me? He say he says that. So who do I let him talk? To? Maybe I can let him talk to Kerry. Anthony Mark, just text me. I let you talk to Kerry because he's talking about. He says he's Sarah Park is his background and he wants to provide some rehydration fluid for the camp. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. We appreciate that, and we must say kudos to him. We appreciate that, and and management. As I, as I as I use the platform, I must say thanks and appreciation because this is the sort, this is the sort of help, and this is the sort of togetherness and unity it's going to take to grow the football back into a World Cup, back into a, a senior man World Cup, back into a youth World Cup, back into the Olympics, or into the Olympics for the first time, back into the female World Cup because a lot of people might not know this. I mean, a lot of people speak about 98, but as I said, 98 was the first I see a nation inside and outside of the country unite around the sport of football. And therefore, we make it to the world. Yeah, I and said it yesterday, of Coach Boris. Listen, I, I listened to a lot of Simoes, you know, that the man I sang yeah. called the groundsman, you know. Man sang the groundsman yeah, after a game. So listen, I want to sang, I want to sang the groundsman. And here, here were his words for preparing the national stadium for us because they they need for to prepare yeah, the us. stadium so we yeah, can yeah, we, we can have, have the uh, yeah. advantage. We want to thank uh, the, the ground. Yeah, that is the kind of thing that every everyone is valued for the yeah. effort in in the, in the progression Good. of it, the it, the it, progression it, of the thing. Yeah, it's it's gonna take a level of unity and it's gonna take everybody in the diaspora, everybody within the country. To rally around the sport so we can have that great level of success again i mean it's, it's not beyond us i mean we have been there before i mean there's a blueprint in order to get there but uh the reality of it we need maximum maximum support that's just the reality of it but uh that's just to give you an update in terms of what happening i mean uh we look forward in being back into jamaica so 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 today. you guys freddie butler and everyone will be here in in early may to look at talent in Jamaica because the, the under 17 competition yeah, begins in yeah. August. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, outside of the what, what we try to do is uh, we might try and use the same format in terms of uh, I think it's not easy all the time to ask the club to send the better players because sometimes they don't. That's the reality of it, and there's a little bit of gap for a bit of biasness. So, I think one of the things we might do is uh, if 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 we see the need and it's very important that we, we, I mean, the school, the school will already have these players as, as to the club because, I mean, I don't want to say it publicly, but I don't know what's happening there from a youth level in terms of club. But I know most of the kids just get out of the youth 14 for the school, uh, the youth 16 and the youth 19. So I think that, that's a strong base to start. 
I mean, if, 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 if we could get them into a level of tournament of play, into some uh, easy accessible facilities, like the one on the western side, can everybody make it to Mount Pleasant? Can everybody make it to St. Anne? And then uh, we probably look at, at those two facilities to see our best and the numbers that we can get into there so we can look at. Because we want to give every player uh, a reasonable accessibility to the facilities where, where, where we'll be having these trials. And we want to give them all the access we can, as smooth as we can, so they can be on. Okay. One of the other things we're looking at, it's your best. We can probably do a walk-on camp where kids are falling the various age groups can come in probably for a weekend. We, we, we have a good curriculum that we'll have them into a, a bit of exercise from a dynamic warm-up into small sided games, into one of post pass and all, all those stuff. To basically look at them in terms of where they level at and then uh, we probably finish with a game to see where they are from a system, systematic point of view in terms of the system that Coach Freddie is trying to look at it, playing with these young boys. Yeah, and you know so, that I'm challenging you and Coach Freddie. I'm challenging you and Coach Freddie and Coach Rajan, all of those coaches up there and Carlton Simmons and all of these coaches. I think you guys have to look at doing some stuff where you, you begin to... You know, bring some of your the top team like Freddie has a team that he has been working with the that U thirteen team that have gone to several finals. I think I think it'll be yeah. nice to bring them out and play a couple of games against some of these teams in Jamaica, so people can see I at mean, that age group I mean, the level of you know and 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 it be like a camp yeah, yeah, a camp uh, kind of a thing because yeah. that interaction as well with that age group help probably uh, help people to see that the the, the the talent level is 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 far is vast. I mean, man is man, tell you the truth. We are, we are, we are, I mean, I've, 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 we have started the dialogue. I mean, we have, we have speak to more unpleasant on this. I mean, we have reached out to some of the academies to see how best they can create the academy league down there. And then, uh, based on the nature of it and the time span which is being played, can we take over these kids so they can be a part of that setup so at least everybody can see in terms of because we are, we are not selling puss in the bag management. We want we want the old public to see the kids and, and to see it fit. Who is it that are the elite? Who is it that are still in the stage of development? Uh, I mean we don't intend to be on a stage of bias. And as I said, we want to make it accessible to all the players that fall within this age group. Because one has to understand the World Cup is no longer two years. The yeah. World Cup is every year. Yes. So we are trying to maximize in terms of a large number in terms of the pool. You see, and I think the larger the number, then the better we'll have going forward in terms of preparation. Yeah. We want to, we want to as quickly as possible, come to a close of scouting so we can start preparing for the qualifiers and for the tournament. Yeah, and, 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 and just, just to let you know that the tournament has increased, you know, from 24 to 48 yeah. teams. And remember that previously, yeah. Yeah. previously, CONCACAF had four teams. So with the increase, imagine yeah, if that four, is... Four. Yeah, Im imagine if that is increased to to six automatic spots. Yeah, it's more. So, 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 so why it is there's, 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 a, there's a vast more opportunity to qualify? Yeah, because because because, so because I realize that that under seventeen World Cup, a lot of the European teams don't even participate. No, they don't. They don't. They don't <laughs> because uh, their their situation with their seventeen. I mean, a lot of them their seventeens are a part of professional setup, and to release them for these sort of tournaments, it's kind of like a battle. You see, so they they turn to avoid some of it in terms of not getting to that old confusion with FIFA and with what happened with CONCACAF based on the date. But, but uh, uh, as I said, I mean, we're looking at to build a nice pool, a very large pool. Uh, I mean, we're looking at the elite and we're looking at also the players in terms of from a development point of view. I mean, I don't know how soon, uh, kudos to the guys in Jamaica for starting the academy. I must say it's a plus. Uh, and, and, and we are willing to, 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 to get their feedback. We are willing to see what they're doing and are willing to be a part of it by all means necessary. And I think the other thing is, uh, I don't know if there's any good league that will be played. As you said, there probably be something in August, which I, I think it's a little bit late, but I mean, we can it and, and then see what best and, and what happens in terms of it. I mean, going forward, I think we need a little bit more in terms of continuity. So, so the players have that opportunity. Yeah. No, but what I'm saying with, with in August, what I'm saying is that the 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 the, the, the qualifiers for the under seventeen World Cup begins 
begins August of this year. Begins August. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying to you. We are, we are, we are, we are working rapidly. And when I say rapidly, from from where we start to now, we are working rapidly because we we try to. I mean, Coach Freddie is trying to get the the, 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 the the scouting side out of it as quick as possible, so we can start preparing for games. Yes, yes, yes. For, for the, for the quali actually qualify games because it's kind of contradicting to try and be scouting players and at the same time. I'm trying to prepare for the tournament in terms of the game itself. So we're trying to get our, get out the scouting as quick as possible as we can. Hopefully, we can finish in May. Then going after that second week in May, then we can go straight into preparing, preparing the group for actually games. Yeah. That, that, and, and games against the, the groups that fall in our qualification. So we can get them prepared for that in terms of the games going forward. So hopefully we can we can we can get this done. In our prepared time, I hope the weather, and by the grace of God, the weather will hold up, so we can get all going and, and, and keep on going. All right, all right, all right, man. Listen, good stuff. I appreciate you coming on and seeing. Um, I know the Champions League is on right now. PSG nil, Barcelona nil, half an hour gone. Atletico Madrid one, Borussia Dortmund nil. We want to say a big thank you to Coach Boris Johnson, who was able to fill the void I, 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 because Coach Freddie wasn't I, I, able to make it. Go ahead. Yeah, before before I go, man, is man. Uh, uh, there's there, there's a number of facilities that that uh, we might have to try and tap it to. I just want to say it publicly. I hope the time frame that we 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 will ask for these facilities will be uh, the right time. And we just hope everybody can open their arms and welcome. And like I said, everybody can rally around as a nation and 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 we get this. this Absolutely. And 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 for success. Uh, I mean. The, the Centan Federation, I think we might have to speak to them in terms of their facilities. I think Mount Pleasant. And there's, a, there's, there's I mean, the Center of Excellence is there, which is contributed and run by the, 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 the GFF. Uh, but there's, there's, there's some facilities that we need to have the dialogue. I think Freddie might touch base in terms of what we can get the word out uh, to the necessary people and the Federation. But kudos to everyone. And as I said, we need, a, we need all, in, all hands on deck. Man, them say me a mash up. Man, man, them say man, them say me a mash up the football. You know, so me have to go leave the football. Me have to go, me have to go start. See, me can me go me go check out some some cricket right you now and leave the football. Well, I think they're seeing two different lenses. Two different lenses, man. Man, 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 because we know let me say this man, man. <laughs> let me say this man, man everybody have their own opinion and then their opinion is formed based on what they're eating <laughs> let me leave it at that <laughs> all right coach Morris. <laughs> yeah man yeah but thanks thanks for having me and, and and kudos to the guys and thanks again man Appreciate yeah man every time all right bless up bless up all right that was coach boris johnson for you and um, i see simon i see simon has joined the chat uh yeah, man, saying, oh, I'm quietly confident indeed, I am. Um, Simon Preston, the reggae boy, Preston, reggae boy is coming to you, quietly confident. You understand me? Yeah. But let me tell you this, you know that in, 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 when we qualified, you know, there are certain things that we can take from there, you know, how the ground staff was commended. I forgot the name of the um, equipment person. I think he probably died, you know. It was equipment manager, even the doctor. A couple of persons from that 1998 campaign um, have passed, you know, in terms of administrative and those kind of stuff not necessarily players but it is it is just tremendous sometimes how when you go to that 1998 they started with a group of people that completed that campaign together you know it was a galvanizing of people in every different department you see that oneness that bonding that unity that strong love that commitment to a cause that fighting through things together that that correcting people that commended people you see those things were what helped that 1998 campaign i want you to look at it look at the people who started out doctor thing there that just a couple of them just passed um recently who were involved in that process um the people who started it if you, if you check the campaign from the beginning with all jerry d and right to the end a lot of the things were sustained that once they started they kept them and it wasn't that everybody was perfect and everything was perfect, but people found a way 
to fight for the common cause, which was to qualify the team. That is the kind of synergy that we need for this campaign. This is the kind of thing that we need in the football on a consistent basis. I still believe that too many of us trying to be the man. We're trying to be the man. And a, a good example is the conversation that Lee and I had. Because somebody believes like, okay, I need to, I need to correct this to prove that I'm right and you are wrong. When we were recommending the initiation, Dr. Charlie Roberts, yeah, he was one of them. Um, and what's the other? There was there was a next doctor as well, I believe, you know. There's a next physio. I think he was a physio. Just check it. There was a next one. And then there was the equipment manager. Um, what's the name of that equipment? The bus driver. Everybody. There was a sticking and staying at the group. But we, we feel a need. We feel a need too often. Like we need to say you are wrong and I'm right. We feel a need like we, we need to let people know. Like we are in charge. We are the boss. And if we, we cannot. We cannot have a successful working operating national team male or female with these kind of things we have to stoop and serve people i'm telling you that's the only way if you want to be leader of all you have to be servant of all i said it yesterday and i'll say it today you see what we sow is what we reap you know that I believe that even the election that recently completed is an indication of how these things work. Because I believe, you know, while Mr. Anderson and his team are good individual, you see some of the things that they said publicly and some of the engagement is almost like it become about person's character than than highlighting people's performance i think if they had focused their campaign on non-performance and how they would do that they would have convinced more people than they did but i want you to notice that there was even an attack on me an attack on other people and if you do that you begin to lose influence because I, i'm telling you this one thing i learned in life you cannot so bad and reap good. You cannot sow bad seeds and reap a good harvest. It don't work. And tomorrow I'm going to talk about this because you see this, you see this reggae girl issue. Everybody needs to know that it is result. Like, we don't need a new page. We need a new book. Why? Listen, personally, a lot of the things that Kadisha Bonisha has said publicly, I disagree. I, be I believe personally that even this whole issue that came up last, that they were wrong. But here is what. Even with that, I mean, I beg my son to apologize to me. I'm big enough to move on. Because here's what I know. If you are wrong and you can't see it, I change how I operate with you. But if I know that I need you to have success, I will still work with you. In other words, I'm not going to make the issue stop me from having the success I can have. And here's how I know that. Because Jude, Jesus didn't know about Judas long time, man. You, you think Jesus was surprised about Judas? And he still washed him feet, you know? The man all still all give Judas bread. And he said, hey, I the one where I eat the bread, you know? I go be, be, betray me, you know? So he knew. But guess what? The person was necessary. The person was necessary in him fulfilling the purpose. So here's what I believe. The level of football that Khadija Shah is playing, she's necessary. A necessary part of what we need in the football. 
And the thing is, we don't agree with some of our things. We, we may not agree. It's just like it's just like Leon. People are like, what do you think about Leon? I don't agree with some of the things. But do I mean that who? Leon Bailey should never play back for Jamaica? No, I don't believe that. Because at his best, he's a necessary part of what we need to excel. But I don't agree. And we can disagree, right? Because what we don't disagree on is the vision, you know? And, and that is what we need to distinguish. We need to separate vision from personality. Our personality conflict should not affect the fact that we have both agreed on the vision. So you and I have the same end in mind. But should you eat pork? I me eat vegetables. We split and cause a vision for die. Instead of we work together and you cook your pork in other part there the kitchen and me stay by yourself. I me I'm a, I'm a deal with my me, me vegetable. You sit there so upon the di in a dining room. Me sit here in the dining room. And when we're done, you don't eat your pork and me don't eat my vegetable. We get back to work on the vision. That's how things and organization excel and succeed. People separate the personal issues and conflicts from the vision. If you are important in the vision coming to pass, we have to find a way to work together. That are the problem with our politics, and we must drive it out of our, 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 our football. That is why, no matter what, it's hard for our politicians to come together and say, you know what, that's a good idea. Opposition, that's a good uh, idea. Um, I'm the leading party. We can work together. I'm a diet, this diet, that. But you see that vision. We all agree on. So we can disagree. We can disagree on personal choices and stuff. As long as those choices and things don't affect the long-term vision, we can disagree for moments and come back to fulfill the vision. Because life is never about moments. It's about movement. And football is not a moment. I said it yesterday. Let's move past a moment of glory to having a steady and continuous movement of success in Jamaica's football. That is what I'm going to leave with you today, you know, people. That is what I'm going to leave with you today. I'm telling you, it's not an easy road. not an easy road all of us no matter how powerful you think you are me you see if tomorrow me leave whatever I'm doing somebody can come after me and do it and do it even better again let me tell you tell yourself this every day it doesn't revolve around me we come here, come see them. And we are going to leave here and leave them. You hear me? We came here and we saw it. And guess what? We are going to leave here and it will remain. Football is life. A hundred years from now when we die, football is still. Bigger than you. It's bigger than me. But we, have, we can have big visions and dreams and successes if we work together to do it together. I want to big up all the people, you know. Because we always, listen, we respect the people that most tune in, you know, because I, I, I tell you this, I can talk about a lot of things and create a lot of content. We get more people on. In life because people love that. More encourage the people to operate in them space. At the end of the day, you're not a clone. You're not a clone. So don't let people 
run to what you do because they find something funny in how you operate and do it and see as a clown. This is not a, I'm not a clown. This is not a circus. We take this serious. So for us, quality is important, but integrity is bigger. I want to big you up and say respect. Daniel Smith, a long time. I'm not the man in the way. Gwan Wed. Where you are, Gwan Wed. You may have some tough questions for asking. I wonder if anybody knows this. What do you call a human without no nose and nobody? Who know that? See who can answer that. What do you call a human with nobody and no nose? What do you call something with nobody and no nose? <laughs> who said that? Simon knew it. Simon said nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> up, up, up. There you go. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, all right, all right. They will get it. Uh. Hey, listen, people. We're going to have our um, troops from AFTV on the platform soon. You understand me? Um, yeah, we're going to talk to him. You know that he has Jamaican roots. You understand me? <laughs> so we're going to have him on the platform. Listen, please hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Every day people see me around and say, people, but it's my young. I mean, I understand, you know. How come, bro, you don't reach 10,000 yet? You understand me? Um, he said, no, man. Steady and slow. I don't feel no way about it. I don't, hey, don't worry, we still get expression. After troops, we go get expression. I don't feel no way about my numbers because hard work always pays off. Stay consistent. Stay consistent and do right. Because good people are good people. You understand me? I just saw it go. Good people are good people. And if you keep sowing good seed, trust me, you're going to reap good rewards. And I'm, I'm happy that I have people who I can reason with. Like, and the thing, and the thing, the thing, the thing, the thing, the toxic. Yeah, that's that we, the thing is good. We can stand by what we say. Our kids can listen to this. 10 years after, 15 years after, and we're still proud. When them hear how we spoke and see how we operate. 20 years from now when we're old and we sit down. Yeah, I hate that. But bless upon yourself one and all. We are going to run out of town. Yeah. Um, so take care. Be blessed. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. You know how it is. You know how it goes. You know what we say. When it comes to the end of the show, you know we don't play. We say, this is man is man. And this has been, uh, uh, I'm sure it's bored. And when we get to this point of the show, we say we are over. And we are O-U. Oh, Yo, Chaba Dog, SK New Artist. The body you there, Sniper King, I represent for I Am Sure Sports. You get to me, I say, when you want the latest news and sports and updates and all of that, check out I Am Sure Sports. You know the thing goes in. Member, cover the whole island. Member, Kingston, Westmoreland, Galchester, Ocherius, Galtigo Bay. Everywhere. I Am Sure Sports, check it out for the latest news and latest updates. Sniper King, I represent. Where them feel like. Ha, yeah, someone known for the food from young from with the knee height. I am sure sports. Yeah, dog.